Hey guys, what's up? Zeep here. Today we're going to be talking about Paragon levels. And we are going to be covering the Barbarian first. Okay, so Paragon levels is what you accumulate after you level up past your cap of 70. So Paragons just help you uh, increase your additional stats to make you a little bit better. So the first thing that we look at is the first tier which is the core okay so you want to get your movement speed maxed out first that's very important because you don't want to be very slow and get snagged by mobs what you do here is you go into your inventory and you click on details you scroll all the way down and you look at movement speed so here it says 11 percent okay you need 25% to be maxed out. So sometimes you can get movement speed on your boots, which I have 11%. So that means I only have to add another 14% to cap that. So we'll go into movement speed. There's 5, there's 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Once you get your movement speed capped, the rest goes into strength. Now, offensive. Uh, you're going to go crit hit chance first, critical hit damage second, attack speed, and then the rest in cooldown reduction. Defense. Resist all first. Armor second, life third, and then life regen last. In utility, you don't want resource cost reduction on a barbarian if you're going with the whirlwind spec. The reason why is because if you're using uh, the four piece Immortal Kings, uh, if you see the set bonus there, it says reduce the cooldown of Wrath of the Berserker and Call of the Ancients by 3 seconds every 10 Fury you spend. Okay, so if you reduce your resource cost reduction, you're not going to be spending as much resources when you're whirlwinding. So, you don't want resource cost reduction. Instead, what you want is area damage first, life on hit second, then you can just put the rest in the gold find. And then you got 19 extra points to just kind of sit there. Okay, that pretty much covers the Barbarian, guys. Uh, it's that simple. Uh, I'll be covering the another class in just a moment. Stick around. Okay, so now we're going to be covering the Crusader. And I'll be doing two different Crusader builds here. But the first one we're going to cover is the Sweeping Crusader. So, same thing. You want to... I don't have run speed on my boots, so I have to end up maxing it. Which is kind of a shame because I'm actually losing out on points somewhere else that I could be putting them in. So, first thing that you want to max out... Is going to be movement speed, maximum wrath, and then lastly, strength. Now, offense, you're going to go with crit hit chance first, crit hit damage, cooldown reduction, and then attack speed. Now, the reason why I went with Cooldown reduction over attack speed is because I'm actually using Gogok with this spec. But it's not on this character currently. It's on another character, but I do use Gogok on this character. And it's at 100% and maxes out at 50. So you get a bunch of attack speed with that gem. Uh, defense, we're going with all resist, all armor. Life, and then life regen. 
last. You want to go with area damage, resource cost reduction, life on hit, and then finally gold. That's it for this Crusader build. Now, I'm going to actually swap over to the other Crusader, which is a ZDPS build, and I will cover what's going on with that build. So let me swap over here. Sorry, I should have cut this out, guys. My bad. Okay. So, with this build, uh, you want to make sure that you have movement speed on your boots, and then after that, you want to actually increase the rest of movement speed in your paragon level. So I have 10% there, so I should have 15% in my actual talent tree, which I do. But uh, let me reset all this. So 5, 10, 15%. Then you want to maximize your wrath. Then all vitality. Offense. You're going to want cooldown reduction first, attack speed second, then the rest will be either in crit hit chance or crit hit damage. It doesn't really matter because you're a tank. I'm going with crit hit chance first and then crit hit damage second. Defense, same as everything else. You're going to go resist first, armor second. Life third, and life regen last. Whoops. Utility. First you want resource cost reduction. Then you want life on hit. Then area damage. Then the rest in gold find. And that is for a ZDPS, more tanky uh, stats rather than other stuff. Now, in the first one, if you're not having issues with um, sustaining your wrath, you can actually just go with movement speed and then the rest into vit. That way you have more health. That bumps me up to about 1,300,000. So that's it for the Crusader. We'll be hitting the Witch Doctor next. Stay tuned. Okay, so we are on the Witch Doctor now. Same thing with the movement speed. Always movement speed first. So I actually have 12% already on my boots, which is the max amount that you can get. So I'm going to add 13% in my Paragon levels. So we go 5, 10, 11, 12, and 13% right there. So that puts me at max. Now, the rest goes into intelligence. You don't need max mana because you're hardly ever running out of mana. Uh, for offense, you are going to go crit hit chance, crit hit damage, then attack speed, and lastly, cooldown reduction. Uh, defense, same as always. Go resist first. Armor second. Life third. And then finally, life regen. And your utility. You're going to want resource cost reduction first. Then area damage. Now, this is going to be up to you whether you want to go area damage first or resource cost reduction first. But uh, I usually go for resource cost first. Then life on hit, and then finally gold find. 
that's it for the witch doctor we will be doing the demon hunter in just a moment Stick all right guys uh the demon hunter now this can vary depending on what spec that you're running uh we're running the multi-shot build so uh with the with the new set So, here's what we're going to be using for this. For the boots, I have 10%, so I need an additional 15%. So, we'll go ahead and add that. Now, firstly, you want maximum hatred, and then the rest all the way into the X. Uh, here, you're going to want crit hit chance. Crit hit damage, attack speed, and then finally cooldown reduction. If you're wanting your cooldowns up a little bit faster, you can go with cooldown reduction rather than attack speed, but I would not recommend it unless you have uh, like a one-handed calamity or something of the sort. Defense. Uh, you want to go resist all, armor, life, and then life regen. Utility, you need, need, need resource cost reduction. I can't say that enough. So, snag that first, then area damage, then life one hit, and then finally gold find. Very simple on the, the Hunter. Uh, stick around. We'll be doing another class in just a moment. Welcome back, guys. We're doing the Wizard now. And I don't have any type of movement speed on any of my gear. So, first thing we want to do is max movement speed. Then, uh, we're going with maximum arcane power. Uh, after that, you put the rest into Intelligence. Offense. You're going to go with Crit Hit Chance first. Critical Hit Damage second. And then Attack Speed. And then the rest in the cooldown reduction. The reason for this is because you don't really have any cooldown uh, abilities down here. Aside from your Hydra and your Blizzard. I'm sorry, your blizzard does not have a cooldown. It's been a while since I've been on my wizard, sorry. So it's just going to be your hydra, I believe that... No, the hydra doesn't even have a cooldown. So you don't have any cooldowns that you need to, to really worry about. So, defense. Resist all, of course. Then armor. Then life. And finally, life regen. Utility. You want to go with area damage, resource cost reduction, then life on hit. And that does it for the wizard. Stick around for the monk. And then we will be done. Okay, last but not least, guys, the monk. Um... I have not actually touched a monk this season. I've touched every other class except for a monk. So I'm going to go with what I know. You're going to max out your movement speed first. Then max your spirit. And then dexterity all the way. Next, you're going to go with critical hit chance first. Critical hit damage second. Now, this is going to be up to you whether you want cooldown reduction or attack speed first. <clears throat> Honestly, if you're going to be running with uh, Gogok, I would go with cooldown reduction first, then attack speed. Uh, defense, you're going to go with resist all, then armor, finally life. And then life regen at the end. Okay. 
This is another odd one that I'm not going to be too sure about. Uh, depending on what your what spec you're running, I would say probably go with area damage, then life one hit, and then resource cost reduction. Uh, depending on what spec you run, I would probably go with resource cost reduction first, then area damage, then life one hit. It'll be your guys' best judgment, honestly. But other than that, I think I've pretty much covered every single class on their Paragon levels and where to put them and where to put them first. If you have any questions, if I didn't explain something uh, quite as well as that you would hope that I would, please comment below and let me know if you guys need any more help on your Paragon levels or uh, uh, Paragon points placement. Uh, if I messed up somewhere and uh, I said something wrong, feel free to correct me. Uh, other than that, we are going to go ahead and call this a video. Thanks for joining me, guys, and I will see you next time. Happy hunting and enjoy those Paragon points.